Welcome to our session on Unity Slices Table, a Unity Labs project about exploring the future of tangible interfaces, blending realities using pass-through VR, and bringing people together around humanity's most enduring social hub, the table. My name is Eric Provencher, and I'm a senior research engineer at Unity Labs. My job is to turn ideas of what the future of XR can look like into tangible prototypes. For the past year, my small team has been prototyping and iterating on what is now Unity Slices Table, and we've had some pretty magical experiences getting here. One of the very first milestones we had building out our prototype was to align a virtual representation of a table to a physical table or desk. Since the Quest 2 doesn't yet include a way to accurately detect planes in Unity apps, we had to go with a more manual approach of using the controllers in a way that made it both fast and precise to align the virtual desk to the table. Holding both grips and placing them on the edge of the table allows us to quickly align the virtual play space to its physical twin. We then ask users to drop the top of one of their controllers to the table surface and pull the trigger to lock in the height with millimeter accuracy. This flow also conveniently allows users to calibrate to their floor or place their table play space in midair. Once we were able to align the table, we needed to network this alignment. It may seem simple, but when you're centering your social experience around a table, there's a lot to consider. I have to calibrate my experience to align with my table, and I have to see your avatar also aligned to my table while you see me aligned to yours. It took a while to get to a system that worked right, but the moment we first hopped into a network session, we tracked articulated hands, and we could both see and hear the other person tapping our table over voice chat, our minds were blown. There's something truly magical about bringing a tangible part of our reality into a shared experience. With the social tangible space working, we needed to figure out how to make this into a shared computing experience. The initial premise was, okay, Let's make the table a giant touchscreen that we use hand tracking to interact with. That's the magical thing about hand tracking. Any surface can be turned into a touchscreen. However, this is VR, and we wanted to do more than just build flat interfaces. So we started experimenting with reactive 3D objects. The first experience we decided to build out was a simple game of chess. We prototyped these voluminous 3D pieces that would collapse as the user approached their hand. While it felt nice to play with, some early user testing revealed that looks can be deceiving, and the shape of the object can lead users to misunderstand how to properly interact with them. Because pieces collapsed vertically, users expected they had to raise their hand and point downwards to interact with the pieces they were looking to move. This was a problem because hand tracking systems don't work as well when they can't clearly see the top silhouette of your hand. We decided to simplify the problem by making pieces you could interact with flat. This had a few benefits. One, it was easier to select the piece you were targeting, especially when it was surrounded by other pieces. And two, users no longer felt compelled to contort their hands to interact with pieces. They simply effortlessly touched and dragged. What we soon realized is that while interactions along a surface should remain simple and not too different from traditional touchscreen interfaces, there is a whole world of potential around the affordances that could be derived from detecting how a user's hands are positioned relative to an object in 3D space. Interfaces can light up in anticipation of being touched, something that touchscreens could never accomplish. As part of our partnership with Meta, we were granted early access to the pass-through functionality that is now a part of the Presence platform. From the very earliest days of development, we saw Unity Slice's table as an experience that transcended the confines of VR. The simple calibration system we built at the start was a lot easier to use if users could see the table they're aligning their experience to. Beyond that, sharing a table with someone in the same space as you was made a lot more interesting if you could see them sitting at your physical table. Playing with pass-through led to some interesting experiments that are now a part of Meta Samples. Early on, we experimented with occluding the hand mesh with pass-through. 
Just rendering virtual hands in a fully AR mode leads to a disconnect between the pass-through feed of your hands and the virtual ones being puppeted that are rendered on top. Rendering no hands leads to objects occluding the pass-through feed of your hands. Using an occlusion mesh, however, makes your hands feel like they're truly blended with the AR experience. Pass-through unlocks a lot more than simply augmented reality, however. It allows you to create true mixed reality experiences. Early on, we played with the idea of portals to virtual worlds. Portals you could stick your head and hands into. Eventually, we landed on a bubble of reality emanating from the table. This mode is a personal favorite, as it's a sort of best of both worlds. When engaged in a game or app, the virtual content has your full attention, and the world around the content can come to life. At the same time, when you look away from the table, the real world is present, and you can sip that coffee you're drinking with ease. The first time I tried this, seeing my hands transform as they moved in and out of the bubble became one of my top 5 experiences to date. As we started fleshing out the three ways to experience reality, we wanted to give users a way to freely move between them with simple interaction. So we landed on a slider. The ability to move freely between realities makes for a magical experience that a video doesn't quite seem to capture. I hope you've enjoyed this short journey through the development of the most interesting XR experience I've ever been a part of creating. Pass Through VR remains in its infancy, and while Unity Slice's table presents a few ways of engaging with blended realities, we think there is still so much more to discover, both as the creator community explores and as the tech evolves. On behalf of my team, I hope that this talk has inspired some of you to create and build off the ideas shown here to hopefully inspire us in return. We're working hard on making sure you'll all be able to try Unity Slice's table for yourselves very soon. Feel free to follow us and tweet your thoughts at our team. Thank you.